What's up everyone, welcome back to the shop. Exciting day because I got a new tool. Well, a new to me tool, but a new tool. I bought a scroll saw and it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I've seen this incredible scroll saw art and I just wanted to dive in, so I finally did it. So I found online a used Excalibur scroll saw. And Excalibur makes a really good scroll saw. It's really by General International. Great scroll saw, a lot of people use them. And I wanted a saw that I knew would be good so that I can test my skills and try to get better. And I know it's not a problem with the tool. It's a problem with me. So reached out to the owner, met him. Such a lovely individual. We talked about woodworking. He, he's, he's forgotten more about woodworking than I will ever know in my life. Just a kind hearted person. And you could tell he treated the saw like a baby and I'm going to try to make sure that I do the same thing and give it a good home. And we know the saw is good because I'll throw up a picture. This is a picture of an eagle that he made. His name is Don Conwell. That's fantastic. Like, look at that, that that's amazing. So I know that if I do this and I'm terrible, it's me, it's not the tool. So today, what you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna do my very first scroll saw art. I've never used a scroll saw before. I have no idea what I'm doing. So you're going to see me and I will either succeed or fail or somewhere in between. I'll learn something. So I know I won't fail because I'll be learning something and that's really what matters. And we gotta start somewhere. Now y'all know that I'm a nerd at heart, so we are gonna do something superhero themed. And we're gonna pick the superhero of all superheroes, Superman. So that's what we're gonna do. I found this incredible piece of artwork on DeviantArt and I will link the artist down below in the description so you can see it because it's his artwork, not mine. I wanna make sure I give him proper credit. It just looks too cool not to cut it out. So I'm gonna take this, I'm going to cut it out of maple. So I need to find some maple somewhere. We'll do some sort of dark background to it. We'll figure it out. Let's start with, with getting some maple and then we'll go from there. I got my artwork stuck onto my maple board, so now it's time to cut it out. I know this isn't the most complex picture, but I think there's gonna be a lot of challenge in this, especially for somebody like me who's a beginner. And that's because there's a lot of inside corners, tight corners around the barn, especially in the hair, the, uh, the comet or the rocket ship right there, there's a couple little spots there. And then the yes S itself, um, a lot of small inside pieces that need to be cut out. So for somebody like me, that could be a real challenge, but I look forward to it. So time to throw on the uh, headphones, and get to work.
All right, I finished cutting out Superman and there's still a lot that I need to learn. There are some things I did learn, some things that I know I need to improve on, and then there's the things that I don't know that I should know, but I don't know them. You know, especially when it comes to cutting out all these tight little corner areas, but I'll go over my lessons learned a little bit later. First, I wanna make a frame for this. So uh, Superman is maple. We've got the walnut for the background. So I think I need a walnut frame. Just give it a little bit of pop there. So I'm gonna take some walnut, make a quick frame for this, finish this project up, and then I'll come back and tell you my lessons learned as a first time scroll solver. Okay, Superman's done and I think it looks pretty good. I made a lot of mistakes, but of course I made mistakes. This is the first time I've ever used a scroll saw, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good for a first time project. I'm, I'm proud to hang it in the shop somewhere. So let's talk about some of those mistakes and what I learned from them. First thing, who knew there were so many blades? I had no idea there were that many blades available with scroll sawing. So when I started it, I started off with a number five blade. I thought that that would be really small. Apparently it's not really small. F5 worked great on the straightaways, but it was really hard to get in those tight corners uh, using a blade that big. So I went out and I bought a uh, number two and I bought two different types. I bought one that uh, is a reverse blade and another one is a spiral blade. And I went back and I cut out the Superman logo a second time using those blades because it was so so small, little tiny areas. And I found that those were fantastic at getting into the tiny corners, but not great at the straightaways. It was harder for me to make a long straight cut with it. So it looks like I need to do a little bit of both. I need to use bigger blades whenever I can to get nice, clean, smooth cuts, but at the same time, switch over to the little blades and do those for all the delicate, intricate work. Next lesson learned, my pilot holes were too big. I used the smallest drill bit I had, which is a 1 16th drill bit. And in some of the areas, it was just too big. And it didn't matter what I cut out, you could see where the pilot hole was. So I went out today and bought a bunch of tiny, tiny drill bits. So I'm gonna use those for now on. And hopefully that will help hide my, my pilot holes. And then you won't see that whenever I'm cutting these things out. Third lesson learned is I was too afraid of breaking bits. I'm used to a bandsaw. I've got lots of bandsaw practice, but at the same time, you don't wanna snap a bandsaw blade because they're not usually cheap. So I took all of my corners really conservatively. I didn't jerk the blade at all, so I didn't snap any blades. And apparently, whenever you're starting off, breaking blades is fairly common from what I hear, but I didn't break any blades at all because I was just way too conservative in my turns. And because of that, I didn't get as tight of corners as what I really should have. I'm not saying that you should go out and break your blades on purpose. It's to say that I just have to get used to pushing that blade in the saw to its limit and knowing where my limits are and the best way to, to maneuver the workpiece around the saw blade. Another lesson learned was with my template itself. Actually, two lessons learned with the template. First one, I printed it off so that the area I was cutting out was dark and I thought it would be easier for me to keep up with what needed to be cut out and what didn't need to be cut out by having the cutout areas black. What I found was it was hard for me to see exactly where the edge of my line is. I know that seems kind of counterintuitive for some people, but it was easier once I reprinted out the Superman logo, I didn't use the black, I just used the black outline so I could say on my line. And I found that easier than having a whole bunch of black on one side and white on the other side. It's just a little hard for me to see 
where that blade is if it's in the black or if it's up against the line where it should be. So if I did this again, what I would do is get rid of all of the filled in color, just do an outline and cut out the outline and maybe label where I need to cut things out with a pencil. The second lesson learned when it came to the template was I think it would have been better if I would have put some packing tape, some clear tape over the top of the template. Because as I was cutting it, there were certain parts where the template was fraying up, which is gonna happen even if you're using uh, spray adhesive like I am. I think if I would have used clear packing tape, I wouldn't have had some of that template peel up. I would have been able to see my lines a little bit better. And maybe that would have resulted in better corners. Cause that's really where it got tough. I was trying to cut in these little corners and you're making multiple cuts at least I am, and when I am, that template's fraying up and it's hard to see if I've cut to my line or not. So maybe I'll try packing tape next time. Another thing I need to work on is speed. When I was using the number five blade, it felt like it was going too fast for me. I know that seems weird because I would think that I could go at my own speed, but the wood just wanted to go. That's a me thing. I have to get used to the foot pedal and stopping and starting the saw and moving it and then working with different blades. Because when I jumped over to a number two blade, it was cutting really slow then because I was used to a, a number five. So that's a me thing, but I have to get used to the, the feed rate of the workpiece, especially as I get into like the tighter corners. Something else I need to try to figure out is how to prevent burning. I noticed that in certain areas, whenever I tried to slow down, I got more burning. And then other areas was perfectly fine. I actually got really nice, clean cuts. So I need to figure out that rate of speed so I can try to prevent burning. I know that that kind of happens with maple sometimes anyway, also with cherry, but I also want to try to prevent it. And that leads me to my next thing is, I need to figure out better ways to sand. I know that some people are scroll saw savants. They don't have to do very much sanding at all. That's not me at this point. So I need to figure out better ways to get in those tighter areas and sand those little areas, uh, I might have to invest in some more uh, carving knives and X-Acto knives and things like that. So there you have it. You watched somebody use a scroll saw for the very first time. You got to see all my trial and error, what worked, what didn't work. And hopefully this video will help you out if you're going to start doing scroll sawing too. You can see the lessons that I learned and then apply those. So thank you for following me along in my woodworking journey. and for allowing me to be part of your maker journey too. And if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel. I put out videos every week. And until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.